Hey, what's up guys? This is Gabriel with East Coast Coatings. I um, just wanted to show you a quick uh, video of an after of a home that we painted. We did the full interior and we did ceiling, walls, trim, doors, uh, closets, uh, cabinets, did the whole shebang. And we actually did it for uh, a real estate investor who flips homes. So he buys the homes at auction, um, hires us to come in and paint it up and spruce up the place a little bit and he puts it back on the market and sells it for a profit. Um, this is one of our real estate investor um, clients that um, gives us work all the time. Just just want to show you guys a quick after without further ado guys let's get in here guys so this is the um, this is the living room um, I'll have uh, I took a lot of pictures before um, these walls I believe were a, a light brown kind of color again I'll insert um, pictures of before um, we go ahead and we put a nice fresh coat of extra white on the ceilings um, we painted the walls with a, a alabaster um, flat uh, paint we went ahead and this this trim I believe was pretty dark. I'm um, gonna have I'll, I'll shoot I'll put in um, before pictures for you guys. But a lot of this trim in the hallway was a real real dark trim. We actually had to hit it with um, some uh, primer, some oil based primer to really um, so the the dark brown won't bleed through. Um, we got all that trim done. I'll, I'll post some before pictures in the in the video as I'm going through the video. But this right here was the living room. Um, I feel we did an amazing job uh, considering the way it used to look. Um, we got this place nice and white uh, for the next homeowners. If you if you guys want to follow me, um, this is the uh, kitchen. Um, if you guys take a take a look at these uh, cabinets over there. Um, I'll, I'll post some before pictures. These cabinets were a real uh, dark uh, brown. Um, we actually had to do the whole um, interior of all of them. So we got inside, we got all these nice and white. Um, we got inside of all of them. We had to get all around bottoms, everything. Put a nice coat of cabinet painting on there, semi-gloss. Um, again, these were super brown. I had to um, put two coats of uh, Kills oil-based primer to, to lock in that brown um, wood color to go ahead and paint um, them with an extra white um, of a Pro, uh, Sherman Williams Pro Classic, which is a highly specialized cabinet paint. Doesn't leave any brush strokes or roller marks. It kind of has like a self-leveling uh, kind of chemical in there to, um, so you don't leave any brush strokes. It just doesn't look good on cabinets. So that's what we went ahead and put on these cabinets and they came out really good. Um, if you want, take another quick look at them this right here is the we got the uh, laundry room over here um, this laundry room was a real yellow um, we went ahead and um, put a nice coat of paint on these shelves for him there was like a nasty yellow in here um, it was like a mustard yellow he didn't like it at all I don't know if you guys have good lighting in here let me see if I can give you guys some light that's about all you guys get this is the lighting again. This is a yellow. We put a semi gloss on the trim and we hit the, the whole uh, interior of this with an alabaster flat uh, paint, including the shelves. And again, I'll post um, before pictures of that um, in, the, in the video as we're going through that um, process. This was the kitchen. This was also a yellow. We went ahead and put an alabaster on these walls as well. Um, we, with, we went with a satin uh, for the kitchen because of the high moisture area. So you want the extra level of protection. So we went ahead and went with a satin on these walls. Then if you notice, it has a nice little uh, sheen to it. Um, this just gives it an extra layer of protection, gives that enamel. So it gives that wipeability, right? Because you want to be able to wipe the walls down in high moisture areas. So this was the kitchen. Again, I'll post uh, before pictures of this kitchen as well. Uh, but for now, you know, I remember these windows were also a real, real, real dark brown. Um, again, I'll post pictures of that as well. But um, that window over there as well. But for now, you know, we could keep moving. We went ahead and uh, painted this door for him. This is a uh, extra white semi gloss on this door. He's gonna reinstall that right there in that kitchen. Um, this was one of the bedrooms. I think we hit this with a Dover white uh, color. Um, this this bedroom, I believe, was a, also a, a light brown. I know the lighting isn't the best in here, guys. But we went ahead and we painted this door. We also got these um, these closet doors for him. These were like a, a dirty, a musty uh, kind of yellow. We got these nice gleaming white for him. We painted both sides. We got inside the closet as well. We hit the trim with the semi-gloss. We hit the uh, walls with the uh, Dover white. And we got the ceiling in here as well. Again, it was a full interior, um, but we can keep moving. Pretty much all the bedrooms were very uh, similar. 
again this bedroom as well um this room was a a, a more darker uh, color uh, i'll post the before pictures like i'll probably insert it somewhere right here um this i remember this trim was a real dark brown we had a primer with the oil based primer first then we went ahead and hit it with a sherman williams super paint um semi gloss extra white to get that nice uh, shine to it again we knocked this trim out this trim looks beautiful um we knocked this door out we got this door um just gleaming white um with a semi gloss same thing with these uh, closet doors um, we painted these closet doors, got those nice and white. Uh, we also hit the closet up, put some uh, semi-gloss on that trim. Uh, same color that we put on these walls, we put in the closet. And also on the window, we got a nice coat of semi-gloss in the window. We got a nice coat of flat um, paint on the ceiling. But yeah, if we keep it moving, guys. This was the uh, bathroom. Um, I believe they went with a sea salt in the bathroom. Um, this is again as a satin finish because it's a high moisture area. Um, they're gonna, they're actually gonna uh, put a new vanity in here, and they wanted us to come down to where the backsplash is. I think they're gonna put a granite kind of type here. They're gonna tear out this and put a brand new one in here. So they're gonna, they're gonna put a backsplash here and come up to um, the paint job. Again, this was a sea salt color. I don't know if you guys have good lighting um, in this because this house is, uh, doesn't have the light fixtures uh, put in yet. If you guys wanna follow me. Um, this is right here. This is the master uh, bedroom. Um, they went with a, a light bluish kind of color. Um, you know, again, this was a this is a, a dark. I think it was a light brown. We went ahead and painted this. We hit the uh, we hit the window trim. We hit this window trim over here, and also we hit this bathroom with the same color, uh, a sea salt um, satin. Hit all the trim up with some semi gloss, extra white. All right, guys, you call me. This is the last room right here. Um, we just, we, this was one of the final bedrooms. Again, we hit it with the, that Dover white color. Hit all the windows up, hit the ceiling up. There was a big watermark here. We had a kills it. Um, we had semi gloss extra white on the, on the, on the windows. Those came out nice and beautiful and pearly white. And, um, the trim got hit up and that looks nice and white too. And we also hit up this closet, uh, this ceiling and these closet doors, um, as well. So, you know, that's it guys. That's all I got. Again, this is Gabriel uh, with East Coast Coatings. I just wanted to shoot a, before, a quick after video of a house that we painted for a real estate investor. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us at 843-813-0584 or you can visit our website at eastcoastcoatingsllc.com. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some value. Um, this is Gabriel with East Coast Coatings, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.